day everybody welcome back to my channel my name is miss glamazon amanda j and it's miss glamazon fab over 40 here it's monday it's been a shitty weekend guys and in case you're wondering why it's been a shitty weekend i'm going to tell you i got no sleep friday night i got three hours saturday night and i'm still up i didn't sleep at all last night so there you go and there's only one word for this girls and Girls and more girls, and there's probably boys watching this, and it's called menopause. Yes, I'm back on the menopause train. I'm going to discuss menopause and HRT and all of that shit as I do my makeup here. I'm starting with a primer, which is by the company Benefit, and it's the Pore Professional. So this is a subject that is near and dear to my heart because I have the patch. Estrogen only patch. Okay. Now. About 20 years ago, my friends, there was a report done um, about HRT for the treat menopause in women, right? Uh, the chap that did the report admits that they pulled it before it was halfway done, that they did it on women over the age of 65 to between 65 and 70. So the average age of the women that were doing it on was, I think, was 65. So it doesn't apply to a little 50 year old like me. Anyway, it's come out since that you have more risk of catching breast cancer from one glass of wine, red wine a night, than you have from HRT used over a 50 year period. Just watching a YouTube video on it and I was laughing going, what? I mean, if I drank a glass of red wine a night, so there's your risk factor for you now. So anybody out there that's scared of HRT, I'm, I've been researching this before I went and decided to ask my doctor for a patch and I didn't go in lightly. I started to get the symptoms of the perimenopause. I think I had my first hot flash when I was in my early thirties. I had them for a while. I had had um, the Novasure Nova procedure done and I got a few hot flashes after that. And then for some reason, it's like as if my hormones seem to regulate themselves. They went away for years. But now, <laughs> they're, uh, hello, it's, yeah. I get more hot flashes than I do going to the toilet than I go to the loo on a daily basis. And you just have to get used to it. People were saying, oh, you just have to suck it up. Menopause is a natural thing every woman goes through. That's bollocks, lads. That is bollocks, in my opinion. I, th I regard it as a fucking disease. I'm sorry, I do. And all my sisters and my friends have watched this and go, what the fuck is that one on about? Right, the way I look at it, okay? If you're a diabetic, they give you insulin. If you have hypothyroid, they give you thyroid medication. But if you are estrogen deficient, you're told to uh, fucking suck it up. Your bones are gonna go brittle and crack you're going if you get a hip fracture you're probably either you've got a one-third chance of dying and a one-third chance a 30 percent chance of dying and a 30 percent chance of ending up in a wheelchair for the rest of your life and the other 30 percent of people that are very lucky recover from it with surgery so they're horrible odds right if you have um if you don't treat your estrogen deficiency you have a huge chance of getting a disease called alzheimer's or dementia and lads i have seen what dementia can do to a human being and it's not it's horrific to be honest with you lads. i'm not even going to go into it but what i will say is if you have a family member that's had it if you a first relative that's had it your chances increase by 50 percent, and in some cases 60 percent. so the way i look at it is the chances are if i don't look after myself i am going to end up with heart disease i already have high cholesterol and high blood pressure um, and I'm overweight clearly but over the last year everybody and his dog has put on weight but however we're still going to discuss this subject I know people say menopause so what are we discussing menopause for but you know what it's a subject that's near and dear to my heart now I'm moving on to foundation and the foundation I'm using today is a CC cream by the company It Cosmetics okay this conversation is probably going to be all over the place but you guys would better follow this. You're smart ladies and gentlemen. Okay, it just really pisses me off, okay? That, I mean, I'm sorry, waking up in a pool of sweat is not natural. You're deficient in a hormone, okay? That costs less than 25 cents to make. 
per tablet. Okay, now, okay, granted, the big pharma charge a heck of a lot more for it, but that is what my research shows it costs per tablet. Less than 25 cents for a pack of, for a pack of dots a month supply. Which, now, that is it cosmetic CC cream available in Boots in Blanchetown. I'll link it below for you. I love it. It gives me, it's quite um, emollient, spreads well. Gives a little bit of coverage, but I don't need much because I'm not going ape shit with the makeup today. I'm just putting on the bare mount. Now let's have a look and see what way we are. It's even enough. As I say, I'm not going anywhere. This was just done so we could have a chat when I got ready. Next. Age Rewind Eraser Concealer Instant. I, I'm not wearing my glasses. It's Maybelline in Neutralizer, which neutralizes... Uh, dry circles in theory in practice uh, no it doesn't okay so I just put it not really and I mean I have I haven't got bags under my eyes boys and girls I have fucking suitcases that have resided under my eyes I've as I said I've had one had three hours sleep in the last do the maths 72 hours that and that is literally lads and no bullshit I wouldn't, I wouldn't discuss the, my lack of sleep if I was sleeping. I wouldn't be bothered. I wouldn't waste my fucking energy. Plus, I'm up uh, every fucking 15 minutes with the bloody night with the... I'm up, well, not every 15 minutes, but often fucking enough. I'm up to go to the toilet every fucking half an hour. And then you're just about to go to sleep and you have to go to the loo. And then you come back to the bed and you get a, you get a night, you start you start sweating like a bastard and you have to kick the blanket off, put the blanket on, kick the blanket off, take your clothes off, put your clothes back on. This is no way for any human being to live. This is... I'm sorry, this is not natural. It's not natural for your body to be deficient in any fucking thing, in my opinion, right? And um, for my research, which I've been doing for over a year, and I've kept it quiet from family, from friends, because before I wanted, before I walked into my GP's office and asked to be put on this, I wanted to make sure I knew what I was getting into. I laid it all out for her. She had no problem. Now, she has me on... Um, 37 micrograms, right? It's a bit low. I'm going to um, stick with this for a couple of months and then I'm going to ask her to put me up to 50 micrograms. Now, 50 micrograms, according to the world's most foremost expert on menopause, menopause uh, Taylor, her channel is linked below, uh, 50 micrograms is the lowest dose where it's therapeutically effective. In other words, it's the lowest dose that will protect you from Brittle bones disease, it will protect you from heart disease, it will protect you from diabetes type 2, and it will perfect, protect you from dementia, stroke, Alzheimer's, which is, I don't want that. So, there you go. So, I'll start on my 37, I'll do a couple more on 37, then I will say to her, look, I'll send her some information on menopause tailors, I'll send her menopause tailor dosing sheets, so she sees what the therapeutic dose is for each of the HRTs because um, Barbie Taylor has been studying menopause for 20 years and she's been treating women for 20 years. So she's the world's foremost expert on the subject. So I'm sorry, I've watched all her videos. It's taken me months to watch all her videos. I like to be armed with all the information before I go into my doctor because otherwise they start going, oh, this, 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 this. Like she started about the, oh, the risk of breast cancer. I said, the risk of breast cancer has been debunked. The man who carried out that study 20 years ago admitted it was done wrong and that the data was collected wrong. It was it was scaremongering. It was wrong. It has been redone over 18 years since then with 27,000 patients monitored over 18 years and it has been debunked. Right. The only hormone that comes with any risk is progesterone. Now, what happens with HRT, lads, is you have your HRT three hormones right that circulate in our bodies as women that go disappear when they go through menopause one estrogen two progesterone three testosterone okay now and what happens usually at hrt if you have a uterus a womb your doctor will prescribe you with your hrt in the form of your estrogen but they will also prescribe you with a low dose of progesterone to prevent uterine cancer. 
It's the progesterone that's the one that comes with the risk. The research has shown, but they have changed the progesterones now to new different ones. Um, there are, I can't remember what they're called. I'm not a doctor. I will link um, Louise Newsom's channel down below. She explains what they are, right? But there's fuck all risk with them. Now, and you know, the side effects of an estrogen deficiency or shock starts off when you're young, like I was when I started, you get the odd hot flash. Then girls, and we're going to be discussing shit here that you're all going to go, mm, I can't discuss this. Don't watch this video if you don't want to hear chats about vaginas, okay? If you're, if you're squeamish about women's vaginas, then this is where you click off now, okay? Three, two, one. Good. If you haven't clicked off, then we're in business. Okay, I'm putting on some eyeshadow. It's coming from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. Love this palette. Okay, so if you're squeamish about discussing vaginas, there you go. I've given you a chance to click off. If you haven't, it's because you're not squeamish. Okay, I can only speak from personal experience dealing with perimenopause now, now uh, heading into menopause, right? I got the hot flushes. The first time I got a hot flush, a really bad hot flush, I was working in Dublin in a telecommunications company and I was sitting by the window and I couldn't understand. I was, I just, my face, I got red from the neck up. I'm sure I was red from the toes up, but I could visually see it from the neck up. I was like a turkey cock. Then, I don't know how to explain it, girls. I just got weak. I got weak and had to grab onto the table so I wouldn't fucking bop my head off the floor. I got weak. Yeah. And that was happening on the regular. I would feel really now nowadays I just seem to be able to deal with them better. But at the start, the first few times I was weak with them. But eventually I realized that I just have to layer up my clothes and start stripping off. <laughs> right? So I sort of said, well, okay, we're gonna to have to live with the hot flashes, okay? So we were living with the hot flashes, right? And for a long time it bugged me, but I lived with it for the last three years. Then came the inability to sleep. Lads, I am sorry, but as I've said, in the last 72 hours, I've had three hours sleep. I just, I, menopause doesn't go away, lads, all right? The symptoms, they, when you run out of estrogen, I am not sure. Like some women say they go away or they get easier, but even if they get easier and they go away, in the background, your bones are still becoming more and more brittle. They're disintegrating. Your heart is still, your arteries are becoming more and more hard because there's no estrogen to protect them. Um, you're still coming closer to diabetes too and your little brain cells in there are still dying because there's no estrogen in them little receptors in your brain to help stop it or slow it down. I think you are probably getting what I'm getting at here, right? So anyway, that was, It's. I think it's a combination of the insomnia that bugs me and the um the insomnia is really really hard to take the mood changes lads i swear to god when i get them when i get the mood swings which can happen on a regular basis i can go from being miss calm and collected to miss i fucking put you in a wheelchair in two seconds flat with a box and it doesn't take much right that's all the hormones go ape shit okay right so that's okay and now we move on to the dry skin. This is the one that really pisses me off, lads, right? My skin, I know I have psoriasis, and one doctor tried to tell me, oh, that's just your psoriasis. No, 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 no. This is not an itch like psoriasis. When I have it bad at night, it's like I have insects crawling under my skin. I swear to God, I, I had a fork at one stage at my arm. To try, it was that bad. I, 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 th I thought there was insects crawling under my skin, on my arms and on my legs, and everywhere, even on my neck. I was ripping the neck off myself. I said, there's fucking something crawling on me. And I'd go and I'd look in the mirror and there's nothing crawling on me. But that's the way it felt. Psoriasis itch does not feel like that. Right? Just letting you all know. That's another symptom you'll get. Now, we're moving on to the dirt, and that is the old uh, downstairs department. <laughs> the dirt, right? A symptom of the menopause as well, girls, is you dry out like a prune. Everywhere dries up like a prune, okay? Everywhere, everywhere. Upstairs, downstairs, it all dries up. So you see women with their um, KY jelly and their um, 
estrogen creams and blah de blah de blah to try and help that situation. And you see a lot of marriages break up around this time of a woman's life. I mean, the, the, I'm telling you guys, the shit I've read, that does happen. And you know, the blokes just get fed up with the women saying, here, fuck it off, don't come near you. Because you're like a prune. You're, and you can't have anybody go near you because you rip half your insides out of you. You'll be in agony for weeks after. What the fuck? No thanks, you just don't, you just don't want it. So you're like, fuck off and leave me the fuck alone. Motherfucker, not interested. And I know that sounds terrible, but you go through that as well. When your progesterone levels drop, you lose your libido. And I mean, in America, the, the statistics say that 60% of the marriages that break up over there in middle age are because of menopause. And it's not the woman's fault. She's deficient in a hormone that her body fucking needs to work properly. Um, if you watch Menopause Barbie, I'll link a few of her videos below, the ones I actually thought were quite funny. Um, or Menopause Taylor, as she's known on YouTube. She's right. I mean, I take my um, L-Troxin. If I didn't take my L-Troxin, uh, it's shocking. Like, okay, for my thyroid, you could, you die eventually. The same thing happens with this. Any hormone deficiency in the body will eventually find a way of killing you. And more to the point, lads. I'm just going to use this as an example. This is one that menopause tell uses, right? If your car runs out of petrol, right? I'm driving along and my little Kia runs out of petrol, right? The first thing I'll get is the petrol light will go on to let me know there's a problem. That's your menopause. That's your menopause symptoms, your hot flushes, your night sweats, your dry skin, your dry downstairs, whatever else, telling you, hey, hold on, there's a fucking problem here, you need to address this. Right, would you leave your car without petrol? Or would you go to the fucking garage and put a bit of fucking petroleum into your car? I'm sorry, lads, but I bring my car to the garage and tank her up. So, lads, in light of that, I fill my tank of estrogen up so that all my receptors in my brain is getting some estrogen. My receptors in my heart are getting my estrogen. My receptors in my muscles. By the way, this keeps all your muscles lubricated and helps to helps to fight muscle cramps, muscle pains all over your body, and um, sometimes misdiagnosed as fibromyalgia. Um, yep, yeah, helps with all that shit. So I am hopeful now. I start this tomorrow night. I was told after the jab, the um, injection for the bug that I had to wait a couple of weeks before I start this. So I'm due to start it Tuesday night and I will be taking, I'll be sticking one patch on on Tuesday night and one patch on a Saturday morning. And I will let all you buggers know in a few weeks what the crack is with this shit. But you know what? I just, I'm not prepared to go around miserable, um, no energy, living in an apartment that I like and that I try to look after, but I swear to God, lads, I got up yesterday morning after having our Saturday morning after not sleeping Friday night, and literally, lads, I was dying. I was in rag order. That's why I didn't shoot this then. I was in rag order, just in bits. I said, no, you can't live like that. For, I have another fucking 30 or 40 years to live, lads. I'm not living like that for another 30 years. When you can put a little patch on you, and that's the job done. No problems. Now, I, I people say you put on weight with menopause. That is actually correct. Your body produces, you, you get your um, estrogen from your ovaries, okay? But also your fat tissue produces estrogen. And when your ovaries stop working, um, your body accumulates more fat around your tummy to try and produce est more estrogen to make up the difference. But the problem is the estrogen produced by the fat in your tummy is the bad estrogen that causes problems. Whereas what your ovaries pump out is estradiol. And that's what I'm being supplemented with, estradiol. So now lads, I have discussed just about as much as I dare to in on live television here on YouTube, because I may have family members watching this who will ring me up and lick the fucking head off me. <laughs> but it needs discussing. It's a subject that's near and dear to my heart. And I wish it fucking wasn't. But it is. And it's near and dear to everybody's heart. That's why this channel is called Fab Over 40, yes? We are all either in perimenopause, menopause or postmenopause, right? Perimenopause lasts about 10, can last up to 20 years. Postmenopause itself is one day. The day everything stops working. And then thereafter you're in postmenopause. And you have your window of opportunity, lads. And that's a 10-year window from, from when you stop having your monthly cycle. 
within the first 10 years of your cycle stop and you can start estrogen at any stage during that time and reap the benefits. And as Dr. Taylor says, why would you, if it works for you, why would you stop taking it? You're not getting any side effects. Uh, personally, if it works for me or I'll let you know, I'll be on it for life because I am fucked if I am going around sleeping one hour, two hours and then three nights a week, no sleep at all. Uh, it just no, like a fucking crazy person. No, thank you. And then just not waiting for the Alzheimer's to hit. And no, thanks. That's not going to be me, lads. No, I will be taking my fucking dot and I will continue to take my dot until I kick the bucket. I'm putting on the W7 bronzing balm now. And we're still talking about menopause. Well, I did say this was a menopause log, so if anybody doesn't like it, get the fuck off my channel. Get off my page, guys, and come back when there's a makeup video. Well, this is a combination of two. I'm killing two birds at one stone. So I'm just sort of putting on a tiny bit of bronzer. It's a cream bronzer. It's nice. It's my version of the um, one that Chanel brought out. And I honestly, I never liked that because it just... It was an orangey shade, whereas this is a little bit more natural and I only put on a very tiny amount. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just putting on makeup for YouTube and so I can have this discussion and you guys can watch me beautify myself as we go along. That's that on. Next, you take the powder version. I am not using blush today, guys. So anyway, getting back to menopause Taylor, I'm going to link a few of her videos below, right? Because I do think any woman over the age of 40, you need to be educated, lads. The doctors are singing from a hymn book that 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 has been debunked, basically. That they're scaremongering women into not taking HRT. And you're ending up with the nursing homes are getting full of women with dementia that wouldn't have it if they had been given HRT when they were younger. What are you chewing on this day? Oh, that's okay. You know, I just, the mind boggles, in my opinion. The mind boggles, you know. How people are left in a state like, mm, mm, mm. do your research. I educated my GP. <laughs> well, I gave her a few links and suggested she have a look at them to a book that Dr. Taylor has written, uh, to a book written by a Dr. Hewson, Newson, who is the British expert on menopause. When it comes to menopause. Uh, Ireland doesn't have one that I could find. I'm sure there is one here, but... Nothing that I could find offhand, which probably means that as with my GP was singing off the old hymn book, I had to inform her that all that research had been debunked and give her the names of the two doctors that debunked it so she could go and look. But however, I did mention Bar Barbie Taylor when I was in her office. So I said, she's the one you need to be watching. You know, my GP is a very, very nice lady. And I didn't have any problems getting my dad off her. <laughs> nope. We shouldn't be left to suffer, lads. Menopause, it, 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 I just don't get it. Why they think that it's different to any other hormone deficiency. It just the mind boggles, lads, right? Because, right, if you run out of insulin, your body is not going to reproduce it. So either they supplement it or you live without it. And it results in, well, death. If you run out of thyroid hormone, unless your brain and your hypothalamus TSH automatically or whatever pumps it out, starts pumping it out again, if they don't replace it, you die. But you run out of estrogen and you're told to suck it up. But the result is the same. You get heart disease, brittle bones, dementia, and you die. Same fucking thing in my book. So... I'm delighted I have my little patch. Um, I will keep you updated on as to whether or not my little patch is worth the shit, but I'm sure it will be. Well, I'm hopeful that it will be. I'm using a Maybelline um, eyebrow thingy majiggy. I'm glad I came on here to discuss this. It's a subject I've discussed on my channel once before, but it wasn't. I wasn't armed with as much information as I am now because I decided I wanted to try the HRT. I was sick of having no sleep and um, just feeling like a fucking alien. Um, I said I would try the HRT, I mean, and see how I go. As I say, I'm not on the therapeutic dose yet. 
I'm on the dose level that helps with hot flashes and night sweats and sleep, but I am not on the high enough dose to prevent the three killers yet. I didn't want to just, you know, you just start low and you work your way up till you get a dose you're happy with. And I'm not behind the door with the doctor. No, I tell her like it is. She's nice, nice woman. Uh, anyway, so girls, I just thought you would like a bit more information on it. You know, I've been looking into this for a year and I've been debating whether or not to go on it. For a fucking year, I've kept it to myself. I've watched YouTube videos, I've read reports, I've read research documents. Now, how much of it you want me to link below, let me know. I'm telling you girls, it's not fun when you go over 40. I'm 50 now. No, no, you have to be your own advocate, lads. You get up off your arse and you stand up for yourself, you know? Alzheimer's is an awful way to go. A heart attack is an awful way to go. And then having your bloody hip split, go in, have an operation and either die or come out in a wheelchair and you've only a 30% chance of coming out normal. No, them odds aren't happy. You know? I'm not happy with them fucking odds. I don't want brittle bones disease. I don't want Alzheimer's and I certainly don't want a fucking heart attack. And that's what's ahead of you. And the Alzheimer's, especially if you have a family history of Alzheimer's or dementia, your chances of getting it. Well, uh, I'm I'm sticking on my patch, lads. I'm, I'm protecting those brain cells. I'm feeding those receptors of of estrogen in my brain so that I don't get too many of those um, Alzheimer plaques up there. Anyway, lads, I'm going to go because that is my makeup done. That's all I'm putting on. I will put a little bit of lip balm on, but that'll be about it. Oh, powder. I'm so forgetful. I'm forgetting to put a bit of powder on. I'd be like a grease, greasy monkey. So, a shocking. So we have a tiny bit of Cote Airspun powder, which I have mixed with one that's uh, a Catrice powder. And I'm just going to pop that all over. Especially when the mask is going to go. Because at some stage, I have a four pie baby that's been pawing at me and... As if to say, Mummy, why haven't I been out for my walk? Well, the reason she hasn't been brought for a walk now is I have her told she didn't eat her breakfast. So that's my excuse. <laughs> Actually, the truth is I'm lazy, bitch. But I were told unless she eats her breakfast, she ain't going out. So when I go out there, I'd say her breakfast is gone. If it is, I will have to just weather the rain and get wet and bring the dog out. That, my friends, is how I get ready for a day of doing nothing. <laughs> I take a brush and I just flick, I have my hair curled already. So I just literally put the brush through it gently. Put the brush through the curls. They have now dropped into little waves. But when I do this, I, I washed it and did it. And I did it yesterday and it's, it just stays for days. You get little waves. All right, lads, that's it. That is my menopause rant. I am not sure if this will be of any use to anybody. I link everything I can think of down below for you. Have a read, tell me I'm wrong. But I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm sticking with this guy here. I haven't even opened it up yet because I'm not allowed to take it till tomorrow night. But it's a little sticker and you just put it on your top of your butt or somewhere around there. And it doesn't move until you take it off. And it's waterproof, but you have to be careful putting it on. Ah, Estra Dot, 37.5 micrograms. Slow release, 24, per 24 hours. In case anybody up on here says, oh, man, um, HRT comes at weight gain. Um, that's another thing I, I looked in. <coughs> <coughs> the weight gain occurs before you go on the HRT, lads. Like, I'm after putting on an ass load of weight. I am hoping that now, once this kicks in, I'm not getting the night sweats, I'm not getting the hot flushes, I'm actually sleeping. I'll have less sugar cravings. I'm trying to stick to a low, low fat, low cal diet, or should I say low cal, low carb diet. I'm trying to get myself back on track, get some of the weight off, uh, facilitating a good diet and doing as much exercise as I may <coughs> physically do with my arthritis. What little bit I can do, I do. Um, me and the munchkin. Anyway, lads, 
that's just food for thought. I'll link everything I can find below. Thanks for watching. Have a very good day. Mind yourselves. Take care. God bless. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.